Roll up in the club and shit. The next issue, no, 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 it wasn't even the next issue because the cowards waited about four issues before they got their story together. Four issues later, half New York was coming on me getting shot. When before, everybody was like, we ain't seen nothing. In the first issue, read it, five viewers. Nobody seen shit. In the fourth issue, when they came back with a reply, everybody knew what I did. They knew what I said. I was acting. Who gets shot five times in that? Oh, I didn't get shot five times in that vision. Only got shot once, because the police found the bullet. They found the bullet. Now they the cops. Now they doing detective work. Oh, you found the bullet, huh? So what is this other shit in me then? What was the doctors talking about? What, can you explain these other holes in me? How did I get gunpowder all over me? So, yes, I said Thug Life was dead. Yes, I bowed out, all of that. But when they said that, they breathed new life for me. And Thug Life not only became a rap group, but it became a way of life for life for me. Because they disrespected me, my name, my family, what I had been through. They basically said that I could not feel. I could not be in pain. I could not be hurt. When I was in my moment of pain, in jail, shot five times for a crime I didn't commit, while every other black person, I mean, whether they was fucking babies in the ass or killing bitches and cutting them in 50 pieces, these niggas got support. I go to jail for a crime everybody know I did not commit, and I'm getting raped in jail, wompty, wompty. They just saying anything to assassinate my character. So, what that show me? Remember, remember this lack of a conscience when I come out. Remember this lack of mercy when I come out. Remember this lack of compassion when I come out. But now I come out and everybody wanna calm down and relax and forget what you said. Do Donnie Simpson was on TV in front of bars like this going, who am I? Tupac. <laughs> but I'm wrong. You feel me? <coughs> Niggas is hypocrites. You read when I gave my whole soul to you motherfuckers and was like, yo, I just wanna chill, I just wanna live life. And motherfuckers took shots from every direction. They thought that that meant that I'm gay now. Here, fuck me in the ass now. So, okay, you wanna see some macho shit? I'm the most macho nigga out here. I'm the most, I thought you niggas knew, I'm the most thuggest nigga out here. I have no motherfucking fear. I have no fear. I have only ambition, and I will do anything to protect and feed my family. And these niggas represent a threat, because I work too hard on this. And as far as hip hop, like, I don't feel like I'm the god of hip hop or nothing like that, but what we do on the West Coast, I sold five million in two months. Biggie album been out two years, he's barely touching two million. This nigga done had 50 remixes, a thousand, he got everybody in New York in this video, and still, Barely touching two million. I've been out two months, my shit sold five million with two videos. I'm barely starting. These niggas can't touch us. They can't. They can't really, it's funny. Feel them having memories of high speed when the cops crash. As I laugh, pushing the gas when my clocks blast. We was young and we was dumb, but we had hard in the dark when we survived. So many questions when this began we